Hello, infidels! This is another one of my, my series on Vatican II. Now, <clears throat> we talked a little bit about the collegiality of the bishops, that the Pope had a little less power. The bishops have a little more now since Vatican II. And then we talked about the Mass in the common vernacular of the people. And not just being in Latin, although they do have some Latin still. So that was a big move. And then, um, now I want to talk about a little bit of uh, that, uh, that one A-E-T-A-T. -A um, it, it means something, um, uh, it's, it's a rela big part of Vatican II is relationship with the world. Uh, especially with, you know, trying to have dialogue, that's a key word, dialogue um, with the world, and uh, uh, including other world religions. That was one of the, one of the things um, that, that they wanted to accomplish uh, at Vatican II. And um, so uh, there's a document there, um, A.E. T-A-T-E, and there's another word. So those are Latin words. And um, <clears throat> you can look it up. And um, about how to, how to relate to other religions. And it's just, it's just common sense. A lot of people get bent out of shape about some of this. All it is is, is acknowledging anything good in other religions. The same thing with us when we're dealing with the culture. We don't want to totally shut the culture out and say it has nothing to do with God and Christ. I'm here and the culture's here. No, we got to get in there and, and acknowledge if the culture is doing some good things. It's good to acknowledge that. Say, hey, you guys are doing good here. Maybe you need an improvement here. But you got to, um, but thank you for doing this here. Like maybe somebody in the world is really, um, or, you know, generally say say an evil person and yet an evil person decides to give a large donation to charity um and it, you could tell it costs them a little something and um I, I mean you acknowledge that you acknowledge the good in that person hey boom you acknowledge the good in that person hey guys those are my my dogs i gotta go out and play with them here in a minute but you acknowledge the good in the culture. Same thing with other religions. You try to find anything they have that's good, that's that is um, that is light, that is good, and you you acknowledge it. You say that's great, and then you, of course, as Catholics, we have the summit of all truth in in Christ, and. And so we, you know, and we believe that Christ is obviously the way to heaven, the only way to heaven, even. But, but that's, um, but that's for another topic. Um, and and we, we also know many. There could be people in in the church, many people in the church that that don't make it, and and then many people in the culture and in other religions that do make it, but. Jesus decides that. <laughs> but um, so but but one of the documents, they never compromised Christ being the summit of all truth, but they did allow, they did allow for, you know, for us to have dialogue with, with other religions. Like, hey, this you did this good, you do you're doing this right, you're doing this right, you, you're showing. They may have a teaching, love your neighbor as yourself, like Christianity, you acknowledge that. You say, that's great. Of course, you're, you're dealing with, you want peaceful relations. We all live in this small world. We don't want violence with religion, so we, we reach out for no other reason for peace, so that innocent people don't get killed because of religious wars. So you've got to have dialogue, and, and you've got to acknowledge the good in other faiths, like you know, there's a big thing with how much of, like, Islam, that's probably the biggest religion right now. You know, there's other things like Hinduism, Buddhism, and the Far East. But, you know, the biggest one probably is world religion is Hinduism. I mean, uh, 
um, Islam. So how do you deal with, with people from Islam? Now, it's okay you talk to someone from Islam. Oh, great. Hey, you guys have fasting. You have Ramadan. You guys make a pilgrimage, you know, to try to be more holy. You guys give to the poor. And you acknowledge that there's only one God. And you, you say, wow, all of that's cool. You know, those are, those are some good, good qualities in, in your religion. And, um, you know, of course, then as you go down the road with them, obviously what makes Christianity unique is, is a trinity. And, you know, that's one. <laughs> but, but you acknowledge as much as, as you can in, in order to, to win, you know, to, to bring them to the faith. If they're willing, if not, you, you know, you say, well, go in peace. I wish you the best. But, you know, as you, as you go down the road with them, you may eventually share about why the, the Trinity is important. Right here, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's what makes Christianity unique of all the religions since the beginning of time. That we believe in the Trinity. There's an example of that in um, Genesis. Let us make man in our image. But 